Hey everyone, welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Thanks for clicking on the video and spending some time with me here at the 2024 Biloxi Manufactured Home Show. Today, we're gonna take a tour of another great home on display here. This one is built by Cabco, so let's hurry on outside so I can tell you about it. It is another gorgeous day out here in Biloxi, Mississippi. And again, thank you everyone for joining me today here on the channel. We get a chance to check out this beautiful home built by Cabco Builders that is on display here. This one is known as the Cabco Platinum Doubles KB3249. It is a gorgeous home. Take a look at this exterior. Your skirting brought to you by Strong Skirt wonderful company right there take a look at the trim around the white windows i love it i love the color scheme they've chosen for this one even comes with a nice dormer here with some accent wood up top i'm loving that this is a four bed two bath that sits at 2280 square feet starting price is just about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. let's go take a home tour where's will So walking in today, everyone, I see eight foot side walls with a flat ceiling with some nice beam woodwork up there. A great optional fireplace we're going to take a look at in a minute. Take a look around, but I don't know if I mentioned it, though. The outside dimensions of this home is 76 feet by 32 feet. And if you haven't done so, consider hitting that like button. That always helps out the channel. It gets this video out to more people. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. That way, you'll be able to see these videos as soon as I post them. The size of this living room is a nice. It is 20 feet 4 inches by 14 feet 9 inches and it is looking spacious so far. Now let's go over here and take a look at this real wood burning fireplace. Now this brick is about a quarter size brick here cut but it is real brick and I love the look of that. That is very nice. Fully enclosed, fully set up for you. That is a nice fireplace. That is an option that you can add to this home, um, just like a few other options. And if you want to know more about all of those options, of course, hit that link in the description below. That'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a 3D tour, some videos, some photos, and get that actual pricing directly from a retailer near you. Now, taking a look at this dining room area, this dining room area is another nicely spaced size. This is 13 feet across by 14 feet deep just about. I like the placement here. It does kind of help separate your living room to your kitchen. Um, of course, this is an open floor plan. So, and I'm looking up and I'm seeing the air coming from the ceiling in this home. So just wanted to point that out as well. Now walking into this kitchen, I love the way this kitchen's set up. It's kind of like, you know, a nice long rectangle on uh, the side of the home with plenty of plenty of windows to let that natural light in. So um, that is nice. I do like the color scheme of the cabinets uh, and the counters. I love that. It all kind of coincides. I like the um, the uh, the backsplash over there behind the uh, stove. That is looking pretty cool. Now the size of this kitchen is another big space. It's 16 feet 7 inches across by 14 feet 9 inches. And I mean look at that double apron sink. That is nice with that pulled down faucet. That's cool. And of course you know that in a home like this being manufactured homes, it comes with your stove. It comes with your refrigerator. It comes with your dishwasher. And then along with that, you can always change the color scheme of that. This one's set up for the stainless steel appliance package, but you can always choose black or white depending on your um, preference and taste. Taking a look at the inside of the cabinets, good strong quality cabinets with adjustable shelves. That's nice. We have a glass top stove right here. That is rather convenient and way more storage over here in the island. I do like that. Now this island is in the middle. It's not an eat in uh, counter. So that's cool. It's just a lot of big prep space. So that is nice. Um, I, I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below um, what your thoughts are of this home so far. Now we're going to walk ourselves over to the guest areas and check all of this out. This is a nice long home, 2,280 square feet. Like I said, I'm guessing this will be anywhere from 250, give or take a few. So again, click on that link and find out more. Now, of course, we are in the first guest room. Now the size of this guest room 
is 10 feet 4 inches across by 14 feet 9 inches and it has a nice walk-in closet now the only thing with these homes here is the closets are actually VOG so I don't know if that's a price point uh, decision or whatnot but that is the only area that I see so far um, that has VOG so I don't know if we can consider this a hybrid home or not but just want to let you know. Now we're walking into the second guest room. The second guest room, all these rooms are about the same size. This one is 10 feet, 10 inches by 14 feet, nine inches. And again, this one comes with a nice size walk-in closet. That is essentially a, a hybrid closet with VOG wall right there. And of course, as you saw, we have the wire shelving there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do like the cream colored walls in this home. It kind of helps give uh, an illusion of space, makes it look all bigger, you know, darker, makes it look smaller, brighter, bigger. Now, we're of course, in the uh, guest bath here and a nice big squared guest bath. We've got a, a drawer bank there of three on the side and a fake drawer over there underneath the sink because nothing can fit under there. Uh, but that's looking nice. A basic big mirror there. Uh, three lights above for that lighting. Um, you have a oversized tub here. It's looking nice. I love the fact that they have a transom window there letting all that natural light in. Um, and you have a nice set of cupboards there for your uh, linens and things. So that's pretty nice. Let's take a look um, on the inside and see how much room you have. Nice. I like that. That's a big amount of space for your linens. That's cool. So that is the guest bath. I like that. Now we're walking into the utility room and the utility room big spacious area plenty of room for your side by side of course uh, some storage up top and your wash sink right there uh, right there you see your electrical cabinet as we spin around taking a look at everything there is your air conditioning unit and uh, the size of this utility room 14 feet 4 inches by 11 and now this is connected to the uh, primary closet the primary closet size 11 feet 11 inches we have wood and shelving plastic rods and a nice built-in cabinet right there for um, for your things um, this is nice I like the way they've connected uh, both areas because you know sometimes when you get home you just don't want to deal with anything you're just putting everything there so you know that's pretty cool and now we're gonna walk through the um, primary bath here and check it out and wow that is looking pretty nice we have plenty of um, room for your things in the drawers there. We have a nice um, tub over here on the left hand side. That is a nice little nook. And if you don't have time for that tub, you can always take a shower over here with this nicely uh, sized shower with the resin tile and the rain, rain shower head. That is looking pretty darn nice, I'd have to say. So that, oh wait, let's see over here. This is where your commode is, your toilet, and it's hidden. I always like that. I love that separation from any uh, bathroom from really, you know, anywhere. I don't like the toilet being close to the tub. That's just me. What do you think? Let me know. Look at those vanities. I mean, that looks really nice. The whole setup, plenty of mirrors, plenty of drawers. I love the fact that you can actually, um, it has area for seating, so you can really make sure that your makeup is just right. Um, but now we're going to check out the the uh, primary room. And the primary room right here is another huge space. This is uh, 17 feet by 14 feet 9 inches. I do like what they've done with the accent wall. Now earlier I said you know darker makes it look a little uh, smaller. Not in this room but that also uh, you know is the size of the room. It's big but it comes with two nice windows right there on each side of the bed. That's a king size bed so this is a nice size room and now we are back out into the living room area and the dining room area and kitchen area but this home was fantastic. This again is the Cabco uh, Double Platinums KB3249 built by Cabco Builders. If you want to know more information click all that in the bottom and until the next one Live smarter, choose manufactured, have a wonderful day, and travel easy. I'll see you next time, everyone.